All right, folks. So today we are going to be starting episode six of Red Dead Redemption 2 retrospective playthrough. And um, honestly, I think I'm just going to get to the point where I can show you guys exactly at what point you can get um, a wild horse where either you would want to get the Black Arabian, which is what I'm gearing towards, um, the White Arabian, whatever horse, you know, you want to get. I'll show you at which point you can actually get a different horse. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start this mission with Uncle. Hey! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> <laughs> it's always you funny. Take the old man in town. You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uncle. Love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. So, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know. I know Hosea has been to Valentine and Horseshoe Overlook, but... I wonder when Uncle was. Uh, that that's kind of curious, you know. Uh, one of the things they are going to do here is start singing, um, which is pretty cool. I actually like this song. It's actually um, a lot of the songs that they have are based on real traditional songs. Yeah, this is the original song. <laughs> Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Well, why would, like, the, the thing I don't get here is I get that they're trying to make Arthur out to be a good person, you know, redeeming his life or whatever you want to call it. But, like, you would think that the driver would be the one that would be able to get his horse over Arthur, you know, like, it would be more trusting of the driver that has been with it for probably years. <laughs> so, I don't know. Kind of interesting how that makes sense. I mean, I I know what they're getting at, you know, like I said, but this way, come on. It, it's in some ways a little unrealistic, I guess. Oops. I accidentally moved my mouse. <laughs> Here you go. 
You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. So it looks like he's just gonna try and fix his wagon. Can we go now? Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. <laughs> to be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. in Valentine. That's actually one of my favorite towns, actually. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> this looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. I just okay. went in that guy's way. <laughs> well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad <laughs> man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. All right. Sorry about that. I just needed to see that it was recording properly. Yeah, we'll drop a whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. I think you can get coffee. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Is it a dry good? Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Well, I know what the smell is. 
Well, that's a wrap cheese, all right. <laughs> well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I uh, got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Oh, Actually, he was, bought a jaw harp. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, huh. yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They haven't gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, <laughs> there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. That's Mormon. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go get the damn snake. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right wait now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. You can actually kill him here? You're lucky we're in a busy town, you son of a bitch. Stand Get off there. Ah. <laughs> Dang it. I was hoping that that would like I, I was hoping they would just let me do it. Oh well. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right wait now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. I'm going, ain't I? Huh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go into the hotel to search for Karen, which leads to a this fight. What? You can't go that far? Wow, they don't want you to talk to him at all. That's crazy. That's Thomas Downs. Don's. <laughs> you thought I wouldn't find you, All right, let's just go on with Get it now. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away with Uncle Mary Beth. 
They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please. <laughs> You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just. I like how one punch passed him out. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but it is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm going to go have a word with our friend. Be careful. <laughs> Just a word. <laughs> yeah. I love this part. Woo. Just burn it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. So hard to catch this guy, man. You have to help me. Why are you telling lies about me? No. Oh my gosh. No. His horse. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. I can't hold on much longer. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. <laughs> No. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. <laughs> you saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> a pen? <laughs> well, not a good man. Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. <laughs> I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. 
I've got a good memory. I have it. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <laughs> come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. All right, now we just got to return this horse. You can steal it, but it's not worth it. Now, come on. Hey, my horse! You got a problem there? Here's this guy. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Hello. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, we're not going to start that. Um, We're going to see. Are we able to engage with Hosea yet? Yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. So they left me with no horse. No nothing. Basically. <laughs> uh, let's just do some exploring in town. Um, and let's try and not actually engage in any missions. Although I do believe you have to go in the saloon to activate that mission. So Thomas Downs is gone. Open a newspaper. Let's see what it says. My controller died. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. Let's, um... Whoa, that's a nice horse. Is this a Tennessee Walker? Or Kentucky. Kentucky. It's just a nice color. What does this guy need? Let's ask what he needs. Mr. Excuse me. Hey there. I tell you, life ain't easy. Keep your chin up. Hi there, mister. Hello! Hold it. Calm down, will you? Why I don't like the boat. Someone's gonna help me <laughs> fella out. Somebody, please. Where is that guy? I know this guy. Isn't he to the left? How you doing, friend? I got real bad nerves. Oh, there he is. Hello, Can you give Mr. me some money? Hey, buddy. I like this story actually. Aren't you all to get a job, mister? 
way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend <laughs> in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Uh... Okay, just quickly. What the heck? That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. We got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here because I need to figure out why my controller keeps disconnecting, uh, and I don't want that to disrupt the fluidity and the smoothness of the episode. So we will pick it up in the next episode. It's a bit of a short one, about four minutes uh, shorter than I would have liked it to be. But once we pick it up, we'll be um, actually able to go get the Black Arabian. Um, we're going to do the mission with Hosea. I'm probably just going to run... Uh, I'm just going to cut this. I'm just going to run straight from here to the camp. I'm not going to engage with anybody uh, that I see. If there's anything that happens, um, I'll just try and run past it and hope that nothing happens. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed these episodes. I've been really enjoying recording them. Um, yep, and it's Melifor signing out.